Inside's painted. Looks pretty good. Did the outside, just that deck restore product. I prefer the texture that we got on the Tiburon with the uh, Rust-Oleum product. This is duckback, um, much thinner. Uh, I believe it's all like the Kiwi grip, but you know, this is a deck restore kind of product. Um, inside's a commercial paint. Oh my! Multi surface surface acrylic, highly flexible, and lots of solids. This is two two coats primer, two coats of that surface acrylic, and judging by the sheen on it, it's definitely got a lot of solids to it. So um, we're moving right along. That's one coat in on the bow because um, I left those and then all these blocks that's one coat right there no primer I'll go back coat all these and that bow and what I'm doing now is um, doing the uh, splash well for my little short shaft motor that I'm using so I planned out before I did this by putting this 2x4 all the way along. It's um, makes it very stiff. Then I added some more stiffeners. I think uh, I think on the wood boats your transom area is most prone to uh, to flexing, so I like to make them pretty stiff. At this point, I measured on my other boat with the motor on it when I tilt it up my tiller arm comes to about 22 inches so I made this piece 23 and I put these blocks in here and glued them in and now I'm going to take a just a piece of plywood and make a skirt all the way around it and then cap it off and then I'll drill out a hole on this side and a hole on this side and um, have the drain holes. Here we go. I uh, made a box. I'm going to put my little GoPro there. Nothing fancy, just kind of fit it in there. Made a little top cap for the motor. That's um, another thing I found I like to do with these plywood boats is put a piece of wood strip across the top of the plywood because uh, the motor can be hard on that. So I used a piece of treated, cut it out, shaped it glued it on in there put a couple screws in it so now what we're going to do is you can see the mark there that puts it just a little bit lower than the uh, gunnels so i'm going to cut that off and then cap the box off and put it back in and then we'll caulk it and paint it kind of sucked about that was I hit a screw in here somewhere and it bent my sorry bent my blade I hate cutting through the damn hall but such is life hey those are pretty big holes I'm actually going to use some PVC for this. I've read where they've done that a few times, so 
I'm just going to glue in some PVC and that'll be my holes for my uh, splash well. I forgot to add on that. When you drill this, drill from the inside or out, doesn't matter until you get all the way to the point where the drill bit just shows and you saw where I turned around and went back in. That way I don't blow out wood or glass or anything like that while I'm doing it. So keep an eye on it. Once that tip comes out a little bit like my finger there, you just flip it over and go in from the other side. PVC pipe. Dude, you drilled the hole too big. That's because I like a lot of stuff to go around it to seal it up. So I'll set it in there just like so. I'll sand this down, rough it up. That's obviously already rough. I'll leave it a little proud. And uh, depending on how it finishes out, I'll either leave it proud like that out the back or sand it down before I do my last coat on the outside of the boat.